3.1 kilometers of track. Four minute coaster duration. Max speeds of 70 miles per hour. A 40 meter drop. 20 inversions and multiple airtime counts is the spaghetti coaster what you're about to witness in today's episode ladies and gentlemen is a singular coaster with all of the coaster elements that you could possibly think of jam-packed into one massive spaghetti bowl of a coaster and the kicker is that the guests will actually ride it because it has been tweaked in such a way that this is not a mess and it is a proper coaster with proper g-forces good googly boogly this is going to be an episode to remember so bye Buckle up, keep your arms in at all times, and join me on today's episode of Coaster Spotlight. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at spaghetti created by the one and only legend Riddler Revenge 75. Here they say, see your Discord chat. Hi Johnny, how are you doing? It's been a while. I have a new blueprint and I wanted to add some text with my news creation, but it's over a thousand characters. Can I send it to you in Discord somehow, Riddler? I just checked when I uploaded the last coaster and it has been in almost two and a half years. A lot has happened in that time and I haven't been playing a lot of Planko in that time. I did try to build some stuff but never finished anything until today that is. One of the main reasons I haven't played Planet Coaster is that I found a new creative outlet in the form of writing screenplays. It's strange for a Dutch guy who isn't particularly keen on writing proper English, I know, and probably even more surreal was the fact that I ended up in the finals of a large screenwriting competition in Hollywood. Hollywood. Holy good googly moogly. Congratulations, buddy. I didn't win in the end, but it motivates me tremendously to keep writing these stories that I have locked inside my head. The reason I that I started up Planet Coaster a couple weeks ago is far less pleasant. For the last couple of weeks, I had a ton, a, a lot on my mind. It was a combination of various stressful and an anxious things coming together at the same time, and I couldn't find the peace in my mind that was necessary to write. So I started up Planet Coaster for some distraction. Hey, creative outlets are always a good way to get rid of some anxiety and stress absolutely what you have before you is born out of all the stress from the past couple of weeks I can't, honestly i don't know what this is supposed to be most of the work went into custom support structure which is about three thousand pieces be sure to check out the station building because the track goes through the station four times including upside down over the guests as they board the next train it's best to ride in track view otherwise it gets a bit bumpy and most importantly keep your hands in at all times the train is clear from any support hits but sometimes it's very very close keep up the good work with channel 5 gaming i'm not planning to build anything anytime soon but who knows in the near future kind regards the riddler wow and this was sent to me in 2022 so i uh, hope everything's going well with you riddler and it's been about a year so love to see another creation from you but if not this might be one of the one and only final riddler creations for the foreseeable future so definitely buckle up and enjoy this one with me here today okay ladies and gentlemen here we are at the spaghetti coaster absolutely amazing i did actually path and set this one up excuse me and it was a bit of a spaghetti mess just setting it up. So if we come all the way around the side here, we find the entrance to the queue. We might as well walk it. We can already hear them all screaming for their lives. <laughs> uh, I think this thing has like four or five coaster trains on it, which is really ridiculous. Um, if you're going to have 3,000 meters, three kilometers of track in a spaghetti bowl of a coaster, it makes sense to have multiple trains running on it, which is uh, much appreciated there. It's going to create a lot of things to look at, a lot of noise, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, as you can see, this, this was not the easiest thing to path. <laughs> Struggled a little bit. I might not have gotten the height quite right. Don't trip. And uh, here we come through the boarding station. And as he mentioned, a coaster passes through here four times. Can we catch one coming through, please? Wait for it. Wait for it. We might be waiting up to four minutes because that is the duration of the coaster. Well, while we wait, we can take a look at the coaster stats. As I mentioned, 
in the top of the video. There they all are on the right hand side. You can take a look at them. 250 seconds in duration, 3,100 meters. The most impressive part is the fact that there are 20 inversions and the G-forces are all proper to the point where this coaster is green across the board. There it goes. Wow. Green across the board. The guests want to ride this coaster, and so do I. So why don't we get right to it? Go on track view as requested from the creator, and off we go. Googly, boogly. I think the most impressive part is the fact that we are weaving and we weaving and bobbing through all of these head chopper moments, and all of these are custom supports. Let's. Uh, it looks like there's nighttime lighting on this bad boy, so why don't we check this out at nighttime here? Because these put all that effort into this nighttime lighting. Let's go.
Wow, freaking wait. <laughs> Do I dare even try a cinematic mode in this coaster? We can maybe try to end off the episode, but let's take a look at the spaghetti mess. It's super impressive to see how many custom supports there are. Literally 3,000, as they mentioned. I mean, that is insanely impressive what was even more impressive is the fact that the coaster was smooth all the way through and the fact that you fit 40 inversions into that um it was actually a really enjoyable experience when you look at this when you click on the video because you see a thumbnail of spaghetti coaster you expect this to be a disaster episode something that's just completely insane something that shouldn't be possible but the guests love it i love it the coaster's amazing and riddler revenge is one of my favorite creators in this community an og that's been around since 2016 once upon a time i think it was 2017 or so we did a whole week called riddler week where we featured all of his creations back to back to back to back pretty sure if you just type in riddler on my search engine on my channel if you're on pc you will find more of his creations in uh the search engine of the channel and i think this is uh officially every single creation we've ever seen from riddler up until this date i don't think there's anything on his workshop we haven't seen and this kind of uh is the end of his story for now sad to say but he's moved on to bigger better things with writing as he mentioned and i do wish him the best of luck with all of that and maybe your writing can come in handy maybe i could use you for a little writing project of my own riddler that is um relevant to planet coaster but also prize on your a passion to write maybe i could pull some of those creative juices out of you for a planet coaster project here in the future i'll have to send him a message and see what he says but uh maybe maybe else this isn't the end of riddler after all you will definitely see him come back for at least park beyond and if there is ever a planet coaster 2 i'm sure we'll see him there again and you never know maybe he's got another planet coaster coaster up his sleeve at some point but this is certainly a one way to go out you could just hear all the screams of the people it sounds like like it just sounds like an RCT game right now. All the people are screaming, and it's all from one coaster. How many coasters did we have on this? Uh, how many trains did we actually end up having on this coaster? Four with seven cars per train that is super impressive what a ton of fun uh maybe we can go out with a bang and and let, i'm just gonna grab this coaster and see how things look in cinematic i can't promise anything good will come from this but maybe this is the insanity that we're looking for after all um because it was actually quite enjoyable in pov let's see how this goes Yeah, they, <laughs> the camera really doesn't want to pull out, but this perspective is actually quite cool. Um, bit of a chase view here for us, but yeah, it doesn't look like the camera wants to pull out at all. And that is mainly because the camera has no idea where to go based off how much track and how much custom supports there are. So it's not going to happen here today. Not e oh, oh, here we go. Maybe just a little bit here and there but definitely struggling. The few, the few shots that we got of the spaghetti bowl like this here is actually really quite impressive and chaotic. You can see all the other coaster trains going about. Oh, almost got a double coaster train shot there. All the inversions here. Really cool to see it from the outside like this. I was hoping for more shots like that, but uh, as it's weaving through almost tunnels worth of track, it's impossible to, for the camera to calculate what the heck is going on with this crazy creation here today. I mean, uh, Riddler of Edge, what a legendary creator. Give it up for Riddler, you guys. If you want to see more of his creations, links are down in the description below. You can go give him a follow on Steam. You can go to his Steam page and uh, give some of these coasters a download for yourself. There are, most of his creations are 4,000 piece blueprint coasters that you can place down in your park. Um, so you could literally make an entire theme park 
use, using just Riddler coasters off of his workshop. He has so many of them, and they're all so fantastic. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed it, please do give the video a like. Be sure to subscribe, share it with your friends on social media, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next Planet Coaster video. Bye now.